Lynn Paltrow is the executive director and founder of National Advocates for Pregnant Women. It's Roe versus Wade's 46th anniversary this year. There's a new majority on the Supreme Court with the retirement of Justice Kennedy, who was a swing voter, one of them on, on the questions of reproductive rights. Uh, instead, we have Neil Gorsuch and Brett Kavanaugh. What are we looking at? How are you looking at this situation? And what do we need to be talking about? Well, there are two parts. There's the part where there really is a risk that this court will overturn Roe v. Wade. On the other hand, there's an awful lot of terrible things that are happening, uh, even with Roe on the books. So there's a need for organizing and reframing and engaging in a serious discussion about what is a quality mean for half of the people in the United States who have the capacity for pregnancy. Reframing how? Well, we have, don't really have an agreed upon idea of whether we're calling it quality or fairness or dignity. But for example, you know, if we want to get health care for everybody, the first thing they're going to oppose, even if we got that far, is, oh, but not abortion and not contraception and not the health care half of the human beings need in the United States. And we have to get beyond that. The survival of the species depends on making sure that the people who can get pregnant can get the health care they need, whether it's respectful births, safe births. Uh, reduce the horrifying maternal mortality rates, particularly for black women. All of that has to be addressed, but we have to have some increased shared vision that equality means everybody, including the people who can get pregnant. And how do we understand the sort of ranks and what they believe, I mean, people on different sides? I mean, there are people, even in the discussion about fetal personhood and prosecuting women for what happens during their pregnancy, there are people that say, listen, we're just looking after babies. It's about child welfare. They make a case this is somehow well-intentioned and they don't actually want to be sending women to jail, let alone death. Well, uh, at National Advocates for Pregnant Women, we are representing women who are arrested for all kinds of things in relationship to their pregnancies, whether it's having an abortion or experiencing a miscarriage or stillbirth or going to term or being pregnant and as falling down a flight of stairs, uh, wanting to uh, have a vaginal birth instead of a cesarean surgery. There is no way to give fertilized eggs, embryos, and fetuses or treat them as if they're completely separate and have really more rights than actual people who are born without establishing a permanent second class status for pregnant women or women. So do people who are maybe Trump voters or Kavanaugh supporters or Neil Gorsuch supporters know that that's what they're signing up for? I really think they don't, or some may, and some actually feel that somebody who has an abortion is a murderer and should go to jail or have be put to death. Uh, but I think many more have believed the mythology that, oh, we're just going to punish the doctors, that we can criminalize abortion, we can outlaw abortion without making the women who have them outlaws. And that's just not how it works. And plus, once you do that, then any woman who does anything that is perceived as potentially causing the death of a fetus, as we see here and in El Salvador and around the world, then they too are criminals. Right here in New York City, there's a trial court that said the decision by Staten Island University Hospital to take custody of Renat Dre, appropriate her, and force her to have cesarean surgery, and in the process damage her bladder, that that was okay, or might be okay, because New York still has a self-abortion law, as a criminal self-abortion law, and her refusal of cesarean surgery is tantamount to having an illegal abortion. Also in New York, on the other side of the picture, are, is a new progressive majority who say they're going to take action at the state level. What do you think they're going to do? What would you like them to do? Well, they have waiting in front of them the Reproductive Health Act, uh, which may be passed uh, with this new majority. But we have to go further than that. We have to get at the things that make uh, New York's maternal mortality rate, black women, is I think 12 times that of white women. We have to get at those things. We have to figure out what are the things leading up to pregnancy that make it so more, much more likely that those women will die as a result of bringing forth life. But does this presage a, a sort of new direction for the justice movement at the state level? The, the other side's been criminalizing state by state. Is there something shifting? 
I do think that there are much more serious conversations about decriminalizing and regulating and providing protections to people. And that's true for drug policy reform. It's true uh, in, for in New York State for the, it, its criminal abortion laws, which is still on the books. And I think those are really very similar conversations. We have health issues that people find difficult to deal with. And what we primarily do in this country is try to address them through the criminal law system. And what we need is a vibrant uh, meaningful health care system where people feel safe and talking to their doctors feel safe getting the advice and knowing that they'll be respected that's how you protect all children before they're born before they're after it's we ha it's a continuum that requires the right kind of government engagement which is not deciding you have to get locked up because you're not because you might be miscarrying and you have to undergo cesarean surgery but what the government mm -hmm. does well which is provide access to and the services people need so all of us need to talk not just about the supreme court and roe versus wade but a whole bigger picture than that there were some folks interviewed on the front lines about what they actually think about abortion and what should happen to those who participate in abortions. This is what they said. Who captured the video? This is a group called ReproAction, uh, ReproAction.org, and they have a campaign called Stop Prosecuting Abortion. Operation Save America, an extreme national anti-abortion organization that has met with government officials, held a protest outside an abortion clinic in Milwaukee. Many protesters and speakers that day traveled from all over the country. We asked them their thoughts on women who have been sent to jail for self-managing their own abortions. So Pervy Patel served over a year in prison in Indiana for giving herself an abortion, is that right? Yes, absolutely. I live in Indiana. So you're familiar with that case? I am familiar that, with that case. I'm also familiar with the piece of legislation we have that will criminalize abortion. And you support that? Absolutely. Yeah. I petitioned for it. I campaigned for it. That's good. So do you think that the doctors should be going to jail? They should be executed. Yeah. Yes. The women should be going to jail? They should be executed. They should be executed. Yes, God's law. Is, should women be punished for not obeying God? And the answer to the question is, is, is broader than that, but the, the short answer is yes. So do you think that women should go to jail? Yeah. 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 They're, they're choosing to kill life. If you don't want to see a woman suicidal, then how do you want to see her in jail? If she's committed a crime, you would have a problem with someone who molested a child, right? You'd want to put them in jail, right? It is a sad, sick act. And it is a crime, and it's really sad, but I just want you to know Jesus loves you. And what about people who say that women should go to jail for having abortions? Do you think that's right? Women should get the death penalty for having abortions. No, women should not go to jail. The people that kill the baby should go to jail. The doctors, because they committed a murder. The women murder, they, the women too, they, yeah. they are accomplices to murder. Yeah. They know it. We must keep abortion out of the criminal code. Tell anti-abortion lawmakers to put down the handcuffs at ReproAction. Org. And what we add to that is if Roe goes, Roe has given us uh, something to work with because what Roe did, in addition to saying that abortion was protected, that abortion, you couldn't outlaw abortion, it said that at all stages of pregnancy, the woman is a full constitutional person and the fetus is not. Fancy that. From one constitutional person to another, thank you so much, Lynn Paltrow. You can find out more and see our entire conversation on this topic at our website.